Now, Wave 31 Storm Tracker Chief Meteorologist Tanner Knust with 31 Triple Doppler. We're seeing an uneventful evening across the region for a change today. I'm okay with that. <laughs> yeah, we're all okay with that. Yeah, <laughs> it was a busy, busy afternoon. Several flash flood warnings issued, a couple of instances of large hail as well. But things have died down this evening. We're in store for a quiet night, and it will be quieter on Friday as well. 68 degrees on this uh, Thursday night. A little breezy out there. It is going to remain breezy tonight and to some extent on Friday, uh, but otherwise pretty quiet out there overnight tonight. Certainly quieter than it was earlier today. Here was the view from Montesano this afternoon as the storms rolled in. We had a severe thunderstorm warning in Huntsville uh, earlier this afternoon. Torrential downpours and on the northwest side of Huntsville, uh, we ended up with several inches of rain in spots that caused some flooding problems. Uh, you can see the uh, radar estimated rain totals across the region earlier this afternoon. Not much in downtown Huntsville, but just northwest on Research Park Boulevard. We had quite a bit of rain between Harvest and Huntsville. The heaviest of the rain fell in eastern Morgan County and western Marshall County. Three to five inches of rain estimated in those locations. Quite a bit of heavy rain in far western Morgan County into eastern Lawrence County as well. All quiet on 31 triple Doppler this evening. It should stay that way through the night tonight. We're anticipating mostly cloudy skies. Certainly could see some fog out there tonight due to all the rain we picked up earlier today and a little bit warmer tonight compared to last night with the lows in the mid 60s. Mid to upper 60s are what you can expect when you step outside tomorrow morning, likely to be an overcast sky, but the rain chances are going to be low during the morning hours on Friday. With that cloud cover in place most of the day tomorrow, it will be a little bit cooler than average with highs in the mid to upper 70s, uh, topping out at 77 in Decatur and 78 tomorrow in Fayetteville. Let's walk through future radar for the next couple of days after we get a dry start to Friday. Pop up showers and perhaps a storm or two will once again be possible tomorrow afternoon. These are not going to be nearly as intense or as widespread as what we saw earlier today. If you get rain tomorrow, it should be rather brief. Uh, most of that will fall during the afternoon and then should quickly fizzle out by Friday evening. So if you have any evening plans outside, including at Huntsville FC, a uh, good chance that we're going to be dry. It's going to be after Friday, uh, late, uh, late Friday night that we'll see our next chance of rain roll in. This is going to be near a cold front. Potentially strong storms moving into the shoals around 4 or 5 o'clock Saturday morning, spreading across North Alabama on Saturday morning. That's the first surge of storms, and then redeveloping storms are certainly possible on Saturday afternoon as well. That will quickly clear out by the time we get to Saturday evening. So yes, Saturday morning, Saturday afternoon, decent chance we'll have to dodge more raindrops. But things should quiet down quite a bit after Saturday afternoon and for the remainder of the weekend. The Storm Prediction Center does have us under a level 1 out of five risk for severe storms on Saturday, and it could be with either of those rounds of storms I mentioned on Saturday. So just be aware that is a possibility if you do have any outdoor plans as we kick off the weekend. Sunday certainly looking like the better of the two weekend days to get those outdoor plans, and it is going to be a gorgeous Sunday. Plenty of sun, a little warmer, and the humidity not bad at all, and that is going to keep the rain chances away on Sunday. A high of 81 at that point. We will hover right near 80 next Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. And beyond a couple of chances of storms here and there early next week, it's looking pretty quiet and we will trend warmer eventually to the mid and perhaps the upper 80s as we approach Memorial Day weekend. So this active pattern we had recently seems to be quieting down here soon.